CNN, not just to CNN, but to Elise Labat. Elise Labat. We hear Elise Labat from time to time on National Public Radio Friday morning, Diane Reem show, International Policy Review. She seems to be a creature at the State Department attached opportunistically to uh, Madame Clinton and now to Skull and Bones uh, Kerry. So we've had this senior administration official saying, who knows who this is, Kerry or Rice, I would guess. We have to, we may not have time for Iraq first. Now, the issue is a no-fly zone against Assad's forces. <laughs> well, that's a huge air campaign against Syria. This is, of course, what Erdogan of Turkey and his sidekick Davutoglu have been demanding. And the answer to that is no, no, a thousand times no. Rhodes then asked, what is the real story, says senior advisors have indeed been looking, and I'm quoting, looking at what relationship is, what the relationship is between the actions we're taking against ISIL and the political transition. But then it's much softer on Assad. Ben Rhodes, deputy to Rice, says, He would not rule out, quote, he would not rule out the prospect that you could defeat ISIL absent a political transition within Syria. In other words, it's perfectly feasible to defeat ISIL without overthrowing Assad. Rhodes says there have been regular meetings, we're aware of about four in the week of the elections, the previous week, first week in in November, Rhodes acknowledged that there had been regular meetings with the president uh, where Obama has joined in with his national security team on the um, issue. Rhodes says, clearly no one is satisfied with the situation in Syria as it stands. We haven't been uh, happy with that. We're always going to be taking a hard look at what more we can do to effectively degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL and then have a transition to a stable Syria. Okay, certain degree of double talk. Rhodes, of course, designed the uh, television coup against Assad in um, the summer of 2012. July 2012, attempted decapitation of the uh, regime of of, uh, Assad. Now, uh, what could the trigger for this B, right? Why now with this stuff? Well, on the one side, Republicans have gained power, more members of the House, indeed more more members of the uh, Senate. Can we look at Royce and say he's a satellite of McCain and Lindsey Graham and the Amigos and Kelly Ayat, that clique, warmonger clique, quite, quite possible. Um, the other thing, though, is have we reached a threshold of effectiveness in the U.S. bombing of ISIS and similar terrorist groups, right? Enemies of civilization all the way, nothing to be done but uh, the use of force. Very sorry. This is the way it is, uh, regretfully, but this is the way it is. And they've been, of course, they've been created by the U.S., Saudi Arabia, NATO intelligence, but. It's like Hitler. Once the Frankenstein monster is coming at you, you've got to do something about that. Now, uh, I'm going to just try to mix in two two elements here. Uh, you remember that Kerry has a track record. Kerry's track record is that if we go back to June of 2013... Kerry was demanding an immediate attack on the uh, forces of Assad. Remember this? And interestingly, it was occasioned by a development on the ground. The fall of Qusair, the city of Qusair, near the corner of Syria that faces Lebanon, key uh, pathway for logistical deliveries and so forth by the 
various uh, corrupt uh, pro-Western political elements in Syria. Um, we don't need to go into who they were. But the idea was that this, the, probably the biggest single military turning point of the entire Syrian civil war is when the Assad forces, backed up by Hezbollah, took over Qusair and kicked out the uh, various uh, terrorists at that point, uh, different you know mix of, uh, of organizations. But that was the idea. Within a couple of days, Kerry was demanding the bombing. And you'll remember, we, we focused on this quite a bit when it happened. Uh, there was a clash then between Kerry and uh, General Dempsey. And General Dempsey said, you don't know what you're doing. You don't have an, an entrance strategy. You don't have an exit strategy. You don't seem to realize that this would require the complete destruction of the entire Syrian air defense system and um, landing fields and all the rest. And it was then Kerry was rebuffed. Notice he did it in a meeting where Obama was not there and he demanded immediate bombing of Syria in a meeting where Obama was absent. And that seems to be the idea, except this time Obama is even more absent. He's on one of the longest trips of his presidency. He's out of touch. Therefore, I would say to Obama, watch out, the mice are playing, right? When the cat's away, the mice will play. These are not mice. These are monsters of, uh, of warmongering. And uh, let, let's just also see this, this other angle. When uh, Dempsey was talking to Kerry back in uh, June of 2013, Dempsey said, look, do you realize what you're asking for? We would have to wipe out the Syrian Air Force, air defense, radars, missiles, and all that. At that point, Dempsey said, that's at least 700 sorties. Go back and look. Now, what we've got now, as of the 24th of October, and I, I'm sorry, I can't find this. There's nobody who publishes this stuff. You know, we don't have the, uh, like the um, ISIS sortie count. But by 24 October, 6,600 sorties, most of them fueling, refueling, and uh, reconnaissance. But of those, 632 sorties were actual airstrikes with 1,700 bombs. And it looks like it's taking a toll. They almost killed uh, one of the top people. They did kill some last week. Maybe that's the trigger. Back in a minute. Hi, I'm John Rainey, Chief Financial Officer of United Airlines, and I'm honored to be the National Chair for the 2015 March for Babies campaign for the March of Dimes. United is a proud supporter of the March of Dimes mission to improve the health of babies and fight premature birth. We're helping the March of Dimes fund breakthroughs in research and community programs that help more mothers have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Please join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit marchofdimes.org. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people, like when the jeweler ruined my ring and wouldn't do anything about it. But when my Legal Shield attorney called him and told him what my rights were, I received a check for over $2,100. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. Again, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. 
GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products, most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even if I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months, simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. G.C. Welcome back to the World Crisis Radio. Webster Tarp here in Washington, D.C. So we're following the attempted... War coup uh, triggered by, on the one side, the new power of Republican warmongers in Washington. You'd think that would have been an issue in the election campaign. I tried to make it an issue. Arrest McCain for ISIS. Not, even, not just warmongering, but uh, warmongering against a Frankenstein that you yourself has, have created. Uh, and on the other hand... The fact that the cumulative effect of the U.S. bombing, despite the scorn heaped on this by the reactionaries, the defeatists, and those who actually want a wider war, they say bombing isn't enough, we demand the ground troops. Well, Operation Inherent Resolve has had significant uh, effects. So 632 of these air sorties were actually bombing runs. 1,700 bombs dropped. Heavy casualties, heavy casualties for ISIS around Kobane. We're going to see a um, pr program on Friday night. By the time you hear this, you'll have to go and look at it, look for it in the archives. But on MSNBC, Richard Engel, dubious character, but he's been in Kobane with the Kurds, and he's been interviewing. So Engel will 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 by now have uh, said what he's going to say, and it's going to be interesting, because if he plays up the bravery of the Kurds against ISIS, that ISIS can be defeated, can be killed, then maybe some wind is blowing, right? Different factions choosing sides on this attempted war coup, I would guess by Kerry, McCain, and their uh, various uh, cohorts. But now, let's look at some of the answers. There was testimony on Capitol Hill yesterday, and here, the usual team, Hagel, 
and General Dempsey. Hegel wearing a Band-Aid on his left cheek. Did somebody slug him? Did, <laughs> did Susan Rice come at him with a stiletto? I don't know. But here's the, this is a very interesting